Hello everyone, welcome to Public Connect. So in this video we will learn how to integrate Shopify and D7. So our use case is pretty simple. When a new customer is added in Shopify, it will automatically send an SMS via D7. Now Shopify is an awesome e-commerce platform where you can sell your stuff and D7 is a SMS messaging platform. So what we are going to do is, we are going to send the data from Shopify to D7. But there is one minor problem. There is no integration between Shopify and D7 networks. So in cases like these, we need to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Public Connect to integrate Shopify and D7 networks. And the best part of using Public Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com. Press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products. And at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect. And then click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Pabli Connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Pabli Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button, create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Shopify to D7 Networks. Shopify to D7 Network. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Shopify because we want to send the data from Shopify. That is why. Okay, so now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new order. Okay, so new order is basically a trigger event. So your obvious question is what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new order is made, then what action should be taken by the system? Actually, there are many more trigger events like new card, new checkout, new refund, new product and so on. All of them are bunch of trigger events. Now in case, if you don't find the trigger of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to send the data when a new order is made in Shopify. Okay, so basically we are trying to integrate Shopify to Public Connect. So let's have a visit to Shopify. So this is my Shopify account. I'm going to go to this part called as settings. At the left bottom, you will find the option called as settings. Click this. Okay, so this is the settings page. Scroll down and here you will find the option called as notifications. Click this. Okay, so this is the notifications page. Now bring your attention to this part called as webhook. Just click on create webhook. Okay, so a window appears in front of you. So in the event, how about we make it as order creation. Order creation, order creation, order creation. So where is our order creation? Yeah, this one. The format will remain same as JSON. Now comes the most important part, the URL. So to get the URL, let's have a visit to Public Connect. So this is the webhook URL you want. Copy this and simply paste it here. And the webhook API version will remain same. Just click on save webhook. Okay, so it is showing the webhook has been added successfully. So basically this means that we have integrated Shopify to Public Connect. So this means that anytime a new order is made in Shopify, Public Connect has to capture the data. So as to ensure that Public Connect captures this data, let me go to Public Connect and click on this button, capture webhook response. Click this. Okay, so it is showing it is waiting for the data. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a dummy purchase. So I'm going to this online store. Okay, so this is my online store. I'm going to go to this part called as catalog and I'm going to make a purchase. So I'm interested in this product, the laptop. I'm purchasing this product. Okay, and buy it now. Okay, so 
actually I have registered myself as a dummy customer. Okay, so these are the details of uh, Alina Storm. This is the details of the person that has made the purchase. So the person is Alina Storm and this is the email address Alina Storm123 at the rate gmail.com. The first name is Alina, the last name is Storm and the company she works is this one. This is the address. This is the, okay, about I change the company name to something more uh, professional. How about SpaceX? Okay, so this is the company she works in and she lives in the city Bhopal. This is the country and this is the phone number. So the phone number is uh, actually quite important. So the correct phone number is 9191313293916. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on continue to shipping. Okay, so just click on continue to payment. Okay, so we are going to enter some card details. Okay, so the name of the card is uh, Alina Storm. And the expiration date is on 12th, the 23. This is the security code. Okay, so click on pay now. Okay, so the public, uh, so Shopify is now uh, processing the orders. Okay, so a purchase has been finally made by this person called as Alina, and the purchase is of worth fifty nine thousand. Okay, so excellent. So basically, this uh, product is worth uh, fifty thousand, and there is a tax of nine thousand. We will deal with that later. It's not really important. Okay, so basically, we have made a purchase in Shopify. Now, Public Connect is integrated with Shopify. Let's see whether it has captured this detail or not. Okay, so as you can see, this is the webhook response. The email is uh, alinastorm123 at the rate gmail.com. This was the time at which this transaction happened. And uh, let me see the rest of the details. So this is the included tags. This is the price. And then where are the rest of the details? Uh, I mean, the name of the customer and all those things. Okay, so this is the email. So where are the rest of the details? Let me scroll down and let's check. Okay, nope. Nope. Yep. Here are the details. So this is the first name that is Selina and uh, this is the address 196 sector 2 Shakti Nagar. This is the phone number and then we have the address uh, city zip code Madhya Pradesh. Okay. And this is the company she works in. Excellent. So basically we have got all the necessary details to sync all the data into D7 network to send an SMS. So to sync all this detail into D7 SMS, all we have to do is just click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as D7 networks, this one. Okay, so there is only one action event that is send an SMS. So let's make it as send an SMS. Now, just like the triggers, if you don't find the action event according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pably.com for the specific action event that you want to build. Okay, so just click on connect with D7 network. So in the new credentials, it is demanding SMS API token. So to get that, let's have a visit to D7 network. So this is my account in D7 network. So basically all you have to go is uh, go to this part called as dashboard, click this. Okay, so this is your SMS API token. Simply copy this and just paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the SMS API token. Just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of this blank is very simple. We are going to create an SMS from the data that we have received from Shopify via Public Connect. So before we map in the details, let me tell you something. Public Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so on the basis of that trust, let's start mapping. So uh, in the sender ID, uh, we are just going to copy this uh, bunch of characters, SMS info. I'm just copying this and just pasting it here. Okay. And uh, now we have this information to the number. Now, basically, we have to map the number that we have received from Shopify, basically the customer's mobile number. So let me introduce you to this button. This is called as the mapping button. Click this. Okay, and here you will find all the details that Public Connect has received from Shopify. So let me scroll down and let me see the phone number. So where's the phone number? Okay, so I think we have to search it. It will be more efficient. Yes, this is the phone number. Okay, so we have added the number and then we have uh, the message body. So I'm going to type some character, uh, some data here. So thank you. No, thank you for purchase mr slash miss uh, and we can type in the name map in the name sorry and uh, the name is uh, alina then enter a space and just map in the last name that is tom okay alina's tom excellent 
thank you for purchase Mr. Ms. Alina Storm uh, with email address okay so we just have to map the email address this is the email address uh, okay thank you for Mr. Ms. Alina with email address and the product okay uh, product worth product okay how about we enter the product do we have any data regarding the product okay so this is the product id okay and the product id will be delivered at this address okay so we can map the address okay so where was the address yes this is the address and this is the city what was the city city is this one and then we have uh, the city the country i think the country was uh, india or how about we enter the province province or the state i think it was madhya pradesh okay and then also we can and postal code postal code okay so we can enter the postal code or the zip code i think it's the zip code yeah it's the zip code okay so basically it reads something like this thank you for purchase um miss alina storm with email address this and the product line this will be delivered at this address okay excellent so basically we have filled all the details all we have to do is just click on save and send test request to send the sms so let me do that okay so it is showing uh, the sms has been sent so let's have a look in the uh, mobile of uh, this person called as alina storm whether she has got the sms okay so we have got the sms and it reads like thank you for miss uh, thank you for purchase mr and mrs alina storm with email address this alina storm 123 at the rate gmail.com and the product uh, 607567042983636 will be delivered at this address okay so basically we have got the sms excellent so the presence of this sms in alina storm's uh, mobile shows that we have successfully integrated uh, shopify and d7 networks with help of public connect so how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not but uh, before we do that let me show you the whole uh, mechanism in a nutshell so what i'm going to do here is i'm minimizing my action window and i'm minimizing my trigger window okay so basically this is the whole mechanism in a nutshell so first you have integrated shopify to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to d7 networks so now there is a perfect flow of data between shopify and d7 networks okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make another purchase so uh going back to the online store okay so i'm going to log out of this profile okay so i'm going to uh, register myself as a new uh, customer first and then i'm going to make a purchase okay so i'm going to uh, create an account okay so the first name is uh, how about we go with the name uh, bruce and then we have the last name as uh, willis and this is the phone number of uh, bruce okay how, how about we go with this one and then we have uh, the email as uh, okay bruce never die one two three at the rate gmail.com okay bruce never die one two three at the rate gmail.com is the email and then this is the password okay so excellent all the details has been entered we are going to make a account so create an account of course i'm not a robot click on submit okay so an account has been made by this guy called as bruce willis so what is bruce willis is going to do now is uh, he is going to go to this part called as catalog and he's going to make a purchase so he's making a purchase of this t-shirt gara t-shirt okay and uh, just click on buy it now okay so these are the details uh, okay so this time we have to fill all the details so we have uh, entered the phone number okay okay so we have entered the phone number the company he works is uh, tesla then uh, this is the address 105 okay so these are the rest of the details um near some park the city is uh, pune okay then we have a four six two zero two four 
Okay, so we have entered all the details. Just click on continue to shipping. Okay, continue to payment. Okay, so now Bruce Willis is going to make his uh, enter his uh, payment related information. So the name of the card is this one. Okay, and then we have uh, the expiration date. And this is the security code. Just click on pay now. Okay, so it is showing the order is being processed. So let us check after uh, some time whether it will send the SMS or not. Okay, so a purchase has been made by this guy called as Bruce. And uh, the purchase is of worth uh, uh, 118 rupees. So let's have a look whether this guy has got uh, the SMS. Yes, he has got the SMS and it reads like, Thank you for purchase Mr. Miss uh, Bruce Willis with the email address. Bruce never die 123 at the rate gmail.com and this is the product this is the product id and will be delivered at this address e105 officer and clay pune madhya pradesh and postal code 462024 excellent so our integration is working absolutely fine this means anytime a new order is made by a customer in shopify it will be reflected as an sms in his mobile not just these two apps you can integrate up plenty of applications using public connect if you have any queries contact us at admin at the rate public.com our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.